Dreg's Promise is an exotic sidearm first introduced in the House of Wolves expansion. It was always kind of the butt of all jokes until it got a balance pass in the first April update. Now, after a bit of a meta shift, it's actually seeing a lot of play in PvP. In this video, we'll go over the weapon in both PvP and PvE and see if it is really worth using in either. Let's get started with the perks. The first perk is Reserve Ammo. This weapon always has ammo on respawn. This is mostly just a leftover tooltip perk from the House of Wolves era. All sidearms have this now. Now. For muzzles, we have soft ballistics, less recoil, penalty to impact, CQB ballistics, greatly reduced recoil, significant penalty to range, and finally aggressive ballistics, more predictable recoil, enhanced impact, shorter range, and more recoil. For me, I ended up going with aggressive ballistics in PvE and soft ballistics in PvP. You want the increased stability and range in PvP to try and make your bursts more predictable. Aggressive is used in PvE mainly for the damage bump. I found that no matter how much I tried to hit precision shots, it just wasn't consistent enough unless I was in shotgun range. That seemed to defeat the purpose of the gun, so I decided to make whatever damage I do to a target greater with aggressive ballistics. Up next is Grave Robber. Melee kills while this weapon is equipped have a chance to refill the magazine. This actually does come up often in PvP since most classes will be able to kill with a burst and then a charged melee attack. It doesn't proc often, maybe 15% of the time, but it can come in handy if you really, really need special ammo. It's kind of a fringe case for PvP, but it is totally possible to burst someone down, use the remainder of the mag to damage someone else, kill them with a melee, have a Grave Robber proc, and then be ready to kill someone else, all without actually reloading or swapping weapons. If that ever actually does happen, that's awesome. Normally though, you'll just die at some point during that encounter and never really take advantage of Grave Robber. Up next for the stat mod perks, we have Snapshot. Aiming this weapon is incredibly fast. Field Scout. Increases carried ammo capacity. Perfect balance. This weapon has extremely low recoil. For PvE, you need Field Scout. Holy crap do you need Field Scout. Since this is a burst fire weapon, you will eat through ammo faster than normal, especially since the damage output really isn't consistent depending on how many precision shots you land. Overall, you're going to be doing about as much damage as a normal primary weapon. For PvP, perfect balance is the best option in my opinion. You want consistency there, and pairing this with soft ballistics gives you plenty of range and stability to reliably land your shots. Snapshot is... Well, it's worthless on this gun. The final perk is shock rounds. High ricochet shock rounds with enhanced target acquisition. The ricochet rounds are pretty fun, but not very practical. You can bounce them off the floor or walls, and in unbelievably niche scenarios, you can bounce them around corners and hit someone. Maybe. It's difficult to predict where they will go. The ricochet rounds do have the fun side effect of also damaging you. It only happened once, but I have actually killed myself while firing when dipping in and out of cover. Brilliant, I know. The enhanced target acquisition has been buffed and has actual tracking on the rounds, similar to rocket launchers. If you aim down sights on a target, the rounds fired will lock on and almost always hit. I say almost because at some point people can just dodge them if they're far enough away. The rounds fired from Dreg's Promise do have an extremely noticeable travel time, so shots within like normal fusion rifle range should be predictable enough to land, but outside of that you can't make use of the tracking since you'll have to heavily lead targets. Not that that will be effective. Better just to swap to any primary if your targets are out of range of Dreg's promise. Let's go over how it performs in PvE. Short answer, it doesn't. Long answer, it doesn't have a defined role, so it just gets outclassed by everything, both primaries and secondaries. The recoil often means you need to use two bursts to kill a single tier 1 mob. When you only have seven bursts per magazine and a limited number of magazines, you quickly realize that you should just be using a shotgun to one-hit kill things. Larger health enemies usually take a bit over a magazine to kill, especially if they have an overshield on them. So this gun really eats through ammo. The novelty of ricochet rounds will wear off quickly, and I don't really think you will make use of the tracking rounds either. PvE isn't too demanding on one's aiming skills. Dreg's Promise just feels like it's trying to be this in-between of a shotgun and a fusion rifle. It doesn't do either well. That being said, it is a fun little thing to bring out for arc burns or whenever you just don't want to take things as seriously. 
For PvP, I'm kind of torn on how it performs. The one crippling feature on this is the bullet travel time. Seriously, if this gun was hitscan, it would be competing with the Trespasser for a top exotic sidearm spot. But that travel time just leads to so many trades with primaries and other sidearms. Not to mention that your bullets having travel time means you are going to have to get used to how many shots it takes to drop someone, since you have to wait for your rounds to actually register and then the enemy's health bar to move so you know what registered and what didn't. What ends up happening is you spend way more rounds than necessary because you don't have that immediate response of seeing a health bar move as your shots land. Also, Dreg's Promise effectively has a shorter range than other sidearms since you have to lead your shots. Other hitscan sidearms can peck people away at a farther distance, while Dreg's Promise just kind of puts on a light show for them. Aside from the issues that travel time brings up, the gun does perform well in its ideal circumstances. The burst fire allows for an incredibly short practical time to kill and pretty reliable too in those normal engagement distances. The tracking rounds are very noticeable and actually end up allowing you to be way more mobile than normal. You don't have to focus 100% on aiming your shots since you're given a generous target when using the gun. Unfortunately, I feel like this gun's niche, unique thing is just done better by the trespasser. Burst fire is more responsive on Trespasser, and it has a higher reload, stability, and range after perks. Even Wormwood class sidearms will be able to challenge you most of the time using this, since Hitscan is just that powerful of a tool in PvP. That doesn't make Dreg's Promise any less fun though. It sounds cool, you can watch people evaporate into arc dust, and it has the added hilarity of ricochet rounds sometimes damaging or killing you when you least expect it. Although that's not some people's definition of fun. So if you want a fun potato to play around with, try it out. There's always room for more fun in a video game. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any other comments about Dreg's Promise, leave them down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.